Hola. Buenos dias. Good morning from Oaxaca, Mexico. I'm Heidi. And I'm Adam. And together we are the, the Country, Country Collectors. Collectors. Today we're gonna be taking you outside Oaxaca Central. We're taking a tour to Monte Alban. So come along with us on this adventure. Typical Mexico. We've been waiting for 20 minutes outside <laughs> for our bus, but it's apparently okay. they're gonna be here in five minutes. I'm excited, I don't care. Uh, 40 minutes now. I wonder if they're still coming. Question mark. <laughs> I don't know. One thing traveling has taught us, you just gotta roll with the punches. Zapotec metropolis, Monte Alban was founded in the 6th century BC and functioned as the Zapotec capital for 13 centuries. It was the Zapotec's main economic and political center for over 1,000 years before it was abandoned. It's just so incredible to be walking on the same ground as the Zapotecs and the Mixtecs and everyone else who came after them. This is a really special feeling. So this incredible 360 view is beautiful, but to the Zapotecs, it was actually the way that they could see where their enemies were coming from on all sides. Pretty incredible stuff. This is the North Platform. It likely served as a residential area and private ceremonial site for Monte Alban's elite. This is so incredible. I mean, when you look at this view, you can picture these ancient people just walking around here, them building this. It took hundreds of years to build this. This is the oldest city in North America. That is crazy. They were here in 500 BC and they slowly started building this. They excavated the top of the mountain, chopped it off. It's just, they flattened it. And then they built this incredible structure up here where only the elite lived, obviously, and everyone else sort of moved down the mountain based on their importance in society. These central buildings served as the government center where important public meetings were held. Due to the topography, the acoustics allowed for the announcements to be heard throughout the main plaza, which spans 300 by 200 meters. The people had to be very careful because the elite could also hear you just as well as you could hear them. So any disagreements in policy led to a swift death. Right now I am walking in the main plaza, the civic center where the markets took place. They would trade anything from beans to textiles. These carved stones are thought to be depictions of rulers or leaders from neighboring towns around Monte Alban who were captured and offered as sacrifices. Hey. Cut it right off. What the hell? <laughs> A different carved stone is found on Building J, also known as the Observatory. These stones are called conquest slabs and are likely listing the places which the Monte Alban elites had conquered or controlled. Man, I am whipped. Those were some serious steps. Look at that view. This is where I would want to stay if I was scared of anybody trying to attack me. I mean, who's going to come up this mountain to get you? I could barely walk up the steps. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. And there's a mystery behind where they went. People just don't know what happened because the Spanish didn't get here 
Yeah, aliens maybe, who knows? <laughs> the Spanish didn't get here until 1500 BC, so that was about 900 years after the Zapotecs lived here. So, I don't know, you can come up with your own story. Hey, thank you so much for coming along on this fun historical journey. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Do you have a favorite archeological site or ruins that you like to visit? Please let us know. We'd love to hear about it in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave us a big thumbs up, press subscribe, and ring that bell so you don't miss out on our future adventures. Thanks for coming along. We'll see you soon.